Who Paid the Piper? The CIA and the Cultural Cold War US title The Cultural Cold War, The CIA and the World of Arts and Letters is a 1999 book by Francis Stoner Saunders. The book discusses the mid-20th century Central Intelligence Agency efforts to infiltrate and co-opt artistic movements in order to combat political influence from the Soviet Union and expand American political influence, with much funding going through the Congress for Cultural Freedom. In dissent Jeffrey C. Isaac wrote that the book is a widely discussed retrospective on post-Second World War liberalism that raises important questions about the relationships between intellectuals and political power." The British edition, titled, Who Paid the Piper? The CIA and the Cultural Cold War was published in 1999 by Granter London. The American edition, titled The Cultural Cold War, The CIA and the World of Arts and Letters, was published in 2000 by the New Press. Joseph Joff, in a book review written for the New York Times, described the American title as being more neutral. Paul Rosen, in the Suini Review, described the British title as being more provocative. Saunders concluded that the activities of the U.S. were equivalent with those of the Soviet Union. Reception The book received media attention after its 1999 release, and the New York Times, Organization of American Historians 2000, Arthur Schlesinger Jr., and other former CCF participants focused attention on the book after its American release. Left-wing publications such as Monthly Review and The Nation gave the book a positive reception, while right-wing publications such as The American Spectator and National Interest gave the book a negative reception. The book won the Guardian First Book Award. Edward Said wrote that the book is a major work of investigative history, an extremely valuable contribution to the all-important post-World War II record and that, "...the gist of her argument about abstract expressionism and its uses as propaganda is correct, if not wholly original." He added that some of the information in the book is not, "...complete," or, "...fully accurate." In particular the chapter discussing the CIA infiltrating organizations, the Bormals concluded that the book has a lot of detail which is not necessary for Saunders' arguments and repetition that "...gives the reader a sense of wallowing through a dense landscape, looking for the fascinating nuggets of history that are certainly there." The Bormals argued that, based on the contents of the book, the CIA had a surprisingly benign impact, in contradiction with what they believed Saunders would conclude, and that the book suggests that the CIA's role in the arts was considerably less damaging than might reasonably have been feared. Paul Boole of Brown University described Who Paid the Piper? as being the most spectacular Book recently released about the involvement of CIA and intellectuals, Bull stated that compared to Frey Hate in Dare Offensive, by Michael Hockgeschwender, who paid the piper, has fewer footnotes but more charisma and verve. Gao wrote that even though the author had a negative attitude towards the CIA activities, the book has a triumph since. She shows men like CIA employee Tom Braden, who headed the program, to have been unsung heroes of the Cold War, as well as masters of art in both cultural warfare and cultural appreciation. Jeffrey C. Isaac criticized the book, saying that it was shrill and with a prosecutorial tone, that it had arguments without nuance that it did not grapple in a serious way with the ideas that were the chief currency of those it purports to study, and that it did not consider the importance and the need to secure 
"...liberal values and institutions." Jeremy Isaacs in The Spectator wrote that the book has portions that are humorous, citing reactions to figures who learned that they were subsidized by the CIA. He concluded that it was a "...hammer blow of a book." Joff criticized the book for equating the U.S. propaganda efforts with those from the USSR in a a strident anti-anti-communism that refuses to accord the Western cause the moral worth it deserves, considering the wares the totalitarians were hawking." He characterized the book as having "...careless sourcing," and "...ad hominem slurs." Rosen described the book as "...highly readable," and "...fascinating." Mary Carroll of Booklist described the book as having a European point of view. William and Hilda Baumol, in their book review, wrote that Saunders generally avoids explicit judgments, seeking to be dispassionate in her account. James Gow of King's College, London stated that Saunders had a negative tone towards the CIA activities and a churlish attitude. Topic. See also CIA and the Cultural Cold War Michael Josselson